my last attempt at reviewing a realistic or realism texture pack didn't go so well so we're gonna dive into the vaults and find a high rated realistic texture pack and try and set things straight and as an added bonus it's by the same creator And the texture pack we're going to be reviewing today is called Realistic Textures HD by Square Dreams. It's currently rated 4.4 out of 5 stars from 9,169 reviews. It currently costs 919 mine tokens, which is equivalent to £4.99 in my local currency. And it says make your worlds more realistic and immersive with HD textures and custom 3D models. Updated for the Trials and Tales update 1.20. Realistic custom animals and other mob models, 32 by 32 HD textures and a custom UI made for both creative and survival works in any world. Made by Toby P and Square Dreams. Let's throw it back this Thursday and get this texture pack reviewed. Okay, so I promise you when I scheduled these videos like two weeks ago, I did not mean for this to be the next texture pack after the last one. But this is just the way life pays out for us. So we are here with Realistic Textures HD and I make the promise I'm not going to keep comparing this to classic shaders. That video is done. You can go and check that one out. This is Realistic Textures HD, Square Dreams. We're wiping the slate clean. Let's see how this goes and immediately I like these buttons. These are very nice buttons. They're not completely in your face. They're quite, I want to think of the word, they're quite smoky. It's very, very nice. I'm a fan of the black as well. That is nice. Let's load in to a Realistic Textures HD and see how this goes. We've got a few errors. I don't know why that's happening more and more. And this is like a two year old pack. So I, I don't know why it's happening. Maybe it's just something to do with the build of Minecraft, but let's get this around here we've got a bit of dark and gloomy which is to be expected in realistic texture packs there's life just is dark and gloomy right so we have dark and gloomy textures and colors I'm just trying to load in the world just see how it goes the water's there it's all right the colors are very nice though i do like that kind of burgundy over there that is very very nice this is all right i mixed in with the coarse dirt the greens and the browns look really nice. All right, this is a good start so far, and there hasn't been a crash. I promise that'll be the last time I elude the previous texture pack. Let's get down there and let's see what the passive mobs look like. So we're just gonna try and find a nice area to have a little look around. We can check out more of the world as well. We've got really nice cobblestone here. This is really, really nice. I like the mossy. It is a mossy one, isn't it? Yes, of course it is. Got the moss between the stones. Very clear, very easy to see. The leaves look nice as well. I love the transparency there as well. You can't really do much with leaves like this in terms of if you wanted to hide like a park or make your own bushes or something. They're very, very see-through. But I'm not completely against that, to be honest with you. I do like a bit of transparency in Minecraft. What have we got going on over here? This wood textures are nice, that is bark. I remember walking through forests as a kid and just peeling that bark off of like trees and stuff. I do apologize if that was bad for the trees. I was a kid, I didn't know any better. But we have got a sheep here and okay. Is it 3D? It looks like it's 3D. We've got a bit of a snout. The head, oh, there's transparency there in the hair as well. Kind of looks like he's wearing chain mail. Okay bit clunky there in terms of like the head box and the body box working together there's a neck there as well it's minecraft there's gonna be clunk right that's nice though you can see the fur i can already see why this is rated a 4.4 i really can come over here we've got another one over here as well same color I, i'm just I, I ever since i did a texture pack about four or five texture packs ago or four or five weeks ago when I realized what 3D textures were, I'm just such a big fan of 3D textures. We've got some brown. This is nice as well. I like the, the fact that the color is consistent all the way through. It looks shaggy, looks bushy. That is really, really nice. Do we have any other? I can't just sit here and just sing about 
sheep. We've got a pig. Oh, that, that is a pig, right? That is a, that's not like an overgrown rat. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, this is the thing with realism texture packs, right? A realism texture pack that's done correct. I don't know if it's like an uncanny, un, uncanny valley, I think is the term. I don't know if it's an uncanny valley feeling where things just feel a little bit too close to being real. Now, obviously, you can see the square, but compared to a normal pig, I can see what they've gone for here. Still a bit of clunkiness with the body to the head, which is a bit disappointing, but I can see what they've gone for. This is a mixture of 3D and realism. I like the shading and the two tones. It is still dark and gritty. You're going to get that in a realistic texture pack. I'm going to say that a lot. I can feel it. That was all right, though. You know, it wasn't bad. That was all right. Do we have any chickens? Do we have any cows? I'm expecting a good cow. I'm not even going to lie to you. I want a good cow here. And while I'm looking around, maybe this is a good time to say I do buy these texture packs with my own money. I'm not gifted them. I'm not told what to say. I can be 100% honest with you. And I promise I will be 100% honest with you. If you like the world that we're in, make sure you go down to the description. The seed will be there. Obviously, you need to buy the texture pack if you want it to look like this. But coordinates are on the screen. If you see something you like, we can go and check that out as well. And yeah, let's go and have a look for a chicken and a cow. But again, loads of pigs, loads of sheeps. What's this? Lily of the Valley. It's making many appearances in many videos now. Hopefully that'll explain why I've got a sticker for it. If you become a member, I do love a Lily of the Valley. And on the hunt for chickens and cows, we're seeing everything. But we've got, I want to say they're wasps. They're not bees, they're wasps. But it says bees. So they've gone for a wasp design for the bees. That is an intimidating wasp. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, it's. I don't think that looked like a bee. That looked more like a wasp to me. I like the wasp, but call it out. It looked more like a wasp. Oh, hello. What's this? Oh, we got a bunny here as well. The bunny's got a mustache. Oh, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He's just smiling. Okie dokie. We don't really look at bunnies that often. Where are chickens and cows? Still no cow. Oh, here we go. There's a cow. There's a cow. Oh, I, I do love a good cow. Look at this daisy right here. This is a chunk. Oh, my. Look at the face. Oh, that face is epic. Yes, please. Look at the nose on that. Hello, mate. It's not speckled, but it is two-toned. I can work with that. That is very, very nice indeed. I do like that. It looks like we're about to turn into nighttime. So let me just quickly make it day. Don't want any spoilers here. Where are the chickens now? Come on, this has been a really long section. We need chickens. Oh, here we go. Yes, we've gotten so close to a village that the next section is going to be very easy. And we have three chickens. Oh, a brown chicken. I do love a brown chicken. I can be quoted to say that in previous realism texture packs and just non-realism texture packs as well i do like a brown chicken i like a brown chicken a lot more than i like a white chicken i don't know why a white chicken just seems a little bit too a little bit too fake whereas the brown feels very realistic and i'm loving that red there as well kind of the rooster hairline that is very very nice can we see the feet Okay, this seems to be... Oh, no, there they are. There they are. Okay, we got some good feet as well. This Okay, that's not too bad. You know what? This has started off amazingly. I really do like these passive mobs. The cow is my favorite. I can look past the lack of a speckled nature. But that snout, that face was amazing. I'm excited to see more of this. Let's head over to that village over there and see what villagers look like. Ah. <sighs> It's quite refreshing to know that I'm not going to have to fly around for hours looking for a village because there's one right here and we can just check out the builds as well. I like the color palette. We've got the, the bark as well. I know there's a village that we're just going to ignore for a second. This is very kind of medieval style with the cobblestone. Very, very nice. We've got the oak stairs as well. That's not offensive. I like that. It's not the best oak planks I've ever seen, but it's very inoffensive. And I know I'm ignoring villagers. Gonna ignore it for a little bit more. 
Look at this iron golem. It's like, I'm guessing that's like a heat source, a fuel in his head. Very mechanical. I've not seen an iron golem that looked exactly like this before. I do like this. This is very, very nice. And now then we're going to look at the villagers as well. Oh, man. The faces on realistic texture packs are always incredibly scary. I don't mind telling you, I have had many a nightmare worrying about villagers in realism texture packs. We don't seem to have much diversity at the moment. I'm just going to keep having a little look around. Is it just the one model? There's lots of farmers here, which is probably not helping. These guys are really checking their, their, their crops. That's a nice tree. Okay. The doors look nice. Oh, I love that black trim. Okay. A black trim on the chest as well. Very, very nice. Bed is a bit lacking. I've seen better beds. There are so many farmers here. You know what? This 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 is an agricultural farm uh, village right now. An agricultural village. It does look like it's the same model. The same face, massive forehead. That is a blockhead right there. I don't know if they change depending on different villages in different biomes. A little bit upsetting that there isn't diversity here. Do you mind? Yeah, the faces are just a little bit weird. But that's what you get with realism texture packs, right? That's not something that's just about this texture pack. I do like that stained glass as well. That is really, really nice. If we can see another village in our travels, we'll check it out, see if there's any diversity across the biomes. Until that point, though, let's turn it to nighttime and let's see what the hostile mobs look like. All right, so the sun is setting behind the mountains, which means that a moon should start rising up. And also, you know what? I don't, I wasn't planning to do this, but I've seen some cats here. And that's just reminding me, I want to say rest in peace to Jelly and shout out to Good Times with Scar. I know you're never going to see this, my friend, but I've been there. I'm an animal lover myself. I currently have four cats. I currently have three dogs. I've had more. I've always had animals my whole life. I know what it's like to lose an animal, a pet and a friend. So I just want to say, man, be strong. Be there. They never leave you. Rest in peace to Jelly. And with that being said now, Let's carry on with the review and we're going to just have a little look around for some hostile mobs. The horse there with no head. He was eating. It's okay. Where are we going around here? That's a nice moon though. I like that. That is a massive moon, but it is a nice one. Oh, here we go. We got some zombies. Oh my Lord. Look at that creeper. Sorry, zombies. You've been downgraded, mate. Look at this creep. What is going on with his head? Uh, okay, so it looks like they've given him little arms. Well, kind of pincers, really. That's probably as close to arms as I'd be willing to give a creeper. I do feel like creepers should never have arms. But that is disgustingly good. Oh, my Lord. Look at that head. 3D textures, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm a big fan of any form of 3D textures. This is so good. Look at the legs. You are disgusting, mate. Oh, my Lord. Look at this. Where are you going, buddy? Are you just a zombie or a zombie villager? You're just a zombie. Okay. You're just a zombie. That must make you a zombie villager then, yeah? All right, cool. So you have lost an eye and have gangrene and stuff coming out of your eye. You have also lost an eye and you're just nasty. Okay. I do like the red for the arms. I can't tell if that's red because he's had his arms, his hands chopped off or because he's been digging around and bleeding. Either way, it's a creepy story, isn't it? Let's have a little look. We've got some spiders over here. Look at how fast his legs are moving. Oh, that's like a tarantula. Oh, I just got the heebie-jeebies. I literally just got the heebie-jeebies from those legs. I can feel the fur. I can feel the fur on this guy's legs. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, he's got pincers as well. I want to be 100% clear with you. I love these textures on these um, hostile mobs. They're just disgusting, but I love them in all the right reasons. Square Dreams, I'm a big fan of this pack so far. I really am. What are we missing? So we need a skeleton. 
Oh, I need to get away from those spiders, man. I'm not an arachnophobia person, arachnophobe. I'm none of that. What's that? What's that? What are you? What? Hello? Are you? You're an Enderman. An Enderman is a plague doctor. Oh, look at his face! No, 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 I can't tell if he's an elephant face, a plague doctor. He's wearing a mask. He's got a jumper on. Oh, mate. Yeah, you go wherever you want to go, mate. I'm not telling you nothing. Uh, do we have a skeleton that's not in armor? So that we don't need to show off any spoilers. We'll head over here. Here we go. How are we doing? Oh, look at, look at you with your satchel. Look at you. Oh, he's got some bows in there as well. Okay. That, that's detail right there he's got the the kind of punisher death face look at the jaw yeah this is good this is actually good i'm impressed with this okay this is nice you know what i know this is a bit of a cliche for my texture packs right but if the mobs are looking like this we're going to need armors to protect ourselves and weapons to fight them did you see those spiders did you see that enderman we need weapons Let's head over to the armory and see what we've got. So checking out the world generation. I mean, I, I I don't know why my armory glitched out like this, but this has been a very beneficial thing that it has happened. It is a dark and gloomy world. There's nothing really popping in terms of color. You can check out what the ores look like as well. I believe this is diamond. Yeah. Looking very like it's scratched under the surface. That's kind of nice. Okay. We're all the way up here now looking at the armors. Got some leather. To be honest with you, it's hard to be excited for leather in any type. It's just a bit bland, isn't it, really? Even when it's yellow and red, a lot of texture packs seem to keep the knee pads like leather brown. Okay. Then we've got the uh, wooden armor stands and the wooden tools. Wooden tools, the same color as the wooden armor stands. That's a very good touch. They're both wood. And understand why they're the same kind okay that hoe's not too bad shovel they've gone for the old strapping on there as well very very nice we've got chain mail okay so there's a bit more solid body to this chain mail it's not just complete chain mail okay okay i can get with that they've kept the transparency as well some like to make it the chain mail and then white instead of transparent i do like the transparency then we're looking at the stone tools very kind of rudimentary basic tools that's what you would expect i don't know what this is here that's supposed to be another handle i don't know then we're over here at the iron now oh very chunky this is like it's definitely been made you know it's manufactured iron bent around into a shape which is what you would expect from armor very nice Looking at the tools. Okay. They're starting to feel more like proper weaponry here. Still not 100% sure what's going on here though. I don't know if somebody's supposed to stab you with this little bit. But okay. There isn't too much variation in the weapons as you go up. But I can see little bits. The gold. I like the red trim. The orange as well to be like a little bit of a burnt gold. It's a nice red trim. Gold is very difficult to get right in my opinion. But the face might be a little bit too overbearing. But it's not one of the worst I've seen. So that's all right. And then the tools. Yeah, they're looking like the same shape as the iron. Okay. We're over here at the diamond. Now I have an immediate issue here. And it's the color. I want my diamond to be glistening blue. This feels a little bit too close to an iron color. Just a little bit brighter. I need diamond blue in my diamond. I need to be flexing. Which is a shame because on the tools, you can see the diamond blue. I feel like it's a bit brighter here than it is there. Give me that and I can, you know, it'll pump it up a little bit. It's a little bit too grey and white. This is blue and white. I prefer the weaponry. And then we've got the never right. Oh, we've got different weapon sets here. Different weapon styles. Oh, these look lethal. 
Still don't know what that is. But that weaponry there, I know it's a hoe, by the way. I meant the little bit that's sticking out. That that sword and that axe. Yeah, they look very lethal. And then, oh, I like that. That gold trim. Look at that with a bit of chain mail in there as well. Yeah, this is nice. This is kind of incorporated bits of everything. So you've got kind of the overbearing base, but then with the mouth and nose visor from the diamond, the overbearing part from the gold, you've got the gold trim, you've got the chain mail. Yeah, this is very, very nice. I think Neverite's gonna be my favorite. In fact, yeah, no, Neverite is just my full favorite. I was gonna say diamond weapons are my favorite, but no, I think Neverite armor, Neverite weapons are my favorite. These are very, very nice. We have to go over and check out the trims. So let's head over there. So we've got the trims on golden armor. It's built in. So I like that. Now trims as usual, they're not really my thing. So I'm just going to show them off to you. Do let me know if you see one you like. They're in the same order that they would be in the creative menu. This is cool. No animation on the tools. Okay. Very good. All right, yeah, yeah. This this one here, I think, is my favorite. Rib. Rib might be my favorite. But yeah, there's the trims. The trims are there for you guys. You lot ask for them. I don't use trims. I feel like it's a little bit too much hassle. But they're there for you guys. So let me know which one is your favorite. And while you do that, I'll head over to the red zone. so here we are at the red zone and immediately we've gone for quite blocky oh but i like that bit though that's a nice touch it's almost like it's piping and the piping has been secured to the floor i've never thought of redstone dust like that before the redstone block quite raw okay it's almost like it's been molded into shape but it's kept its kind of raw the verosity or whatever you want to call it i don't really know the um comparators and the repeaters kind of bland kind of bland same kind of thing with the piston face as well i'm not a fan of a bare piston face i like this bit though for the cobblestone that's nice they've gone full on sync with the hopper i don't know how items fall into that little area but okay the rails kind of boring as usual now this is nice i'm a sucker for some faces on the observers the dispensers and the droppers that is very very nice this is very much old school mario that block that kind of tries to kill you when you go underneath it this is a little bit like aslan from lion the witch in the wardrobe and this guy is just happy i like those three blocks that's cool a faded target block okay a little bit dirty that's not too bad it's almost like it's made out of wheat and in a daylight nightlight sense if they could be made to be horizontal they would be really good windows but yeah that's the redstone if you use redstone let me know what you think about it i really love the faces they're really really good we're going to head back to the world now and we're going to go to the nether and see what that looks like <laughs> okay so we're heading into the nether now and once we get in here i can show you guys the portal this is a really nice smoke effect obsidian the portal frame is a little bit too noisy it's a little bit too viruses underneath a microscope i really like the obsidian that is nice the nether rack is just a little bit overbearing but we seem to have spawned under some uh, blackstone magma's nice lava's nice Assault is nice. Neverrack is a little bit too overbearing in my opinion. But everything else around it is very, very nice. Let's see if we can get into some open space. See what's going on. Yeah, the lava is a nice orange. Glowstone. Almost like a growth effect. Very, very nice. Okay, this isn't too bad for first impressions of the Never. Do we have any mobs? I don't even know where we are. What's this block? It's like soul soil okay that was an interesting soul soil the red looks really nice red is my favorite color so if you can get the red to look really nice you're winning some points there to be honest do we have any other mobs obviously we're looking out for a ghast do we have any piglins okay so we've got some mobs here now we've got looks like hoglins and piglins 
Oi, that zombified piglin looks rough. You've seen better days, mate. That dirty face. Missing an eye again. This texture pack really likes people losing eyes, doesn't it? Oh, now this was pointed out to me. Hoglins seem to just... They don't seem to move. It was about this texture pack. It's happened in other texture packs. I've just never noticed it before. They don't seem to move as much as they seem to glide. I like the dirty side of it, though. That's nice. The eyes are a little bit crazy. But that gliding animation, now that it's been pointed out to me, I don't think I'd ever noticed it before in other texture packs. This is not unique to this texture pack, by the way. Let me make that clear. I'm not calling it out here when I didn't call it out in others. It has been in others, but it's just been pointed out to me in comments. Okay, on to note. And then we've got... You guys are the, just the piglin standards. Lot cleaner than their zombified brethren. All right. I do like the way the area is flat. That is very, very cool. Oh, they're, they're kicking off. They're going to fight now. All right, well, we're going to leave the vicinity then. Nothing offensive there, really. See, look, that, that pig, that hoggling over there, his legs were moving. Very weird. Nothing offensive there. It's all good. Let's try and find a fortress. We'll see what blazes and wither skeletons look like. Okay, well, before we find the fortress, I saw this. And I kind of... Oh, my Lord. It's an oozing bumhole. This guy's got diarrhea. Oh, my Lord. Well, I thought that this was the fortress. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, from, like, this angle, I was like, oh, is that a fortress leg? This is a ghast. Oh, that is disgusting. I don't know if I like this or not, you know. It's unique. It's blue. Like that i just can't why is he crying oh no i don't know if i like that i don't know i don't know if i like it. i can't tell if i like it or don't like it this guy is disgusting hello how are you um yeah i'm not sure let's see if we can get one that moves okay so he's got a bit purpley blue legs oh look at that it's like his brain is exposed yeah i don't know i don't know let me know what you guys think i don't know if i like that Right, so this was very difficult to find as it looks like it's about 90% buried into the world. But we've got the fortress. Fortress blocks, nothing too crazy going on there. But then we've got these blazes. Bright yellow, giving off the impression that they're molten lava, which is nice. There is a face buried in there as well. Okay, I like a more predominant face, but it's not terrible. We're coming through here. We're looking out for wither skeletons as well. Not much change. Oh, wait. Actually, there is a bit of change there from the Neverrack. They look very dead, don't they? Okay. Just carrying on around here. Struggling to find some wither skeletons. Got a lot of the normal skeletons here, though. I do like their little pouches. That's nice. Ah, here we go. Wither skeleton. Oh, you look evil, mate. Look at your eyes. Okay. Not too crazy. They haven't put a satchel on these guys, which is a good attention to detail, to be honest. Now, a lot of textures just seem to reskin the skeleton and then invert the colors. They've taken the satchel off these guys because they don't use bows. They use swords. That's nice. Would have liked to have seen like a little sheath for the knife or so, for the sword or something. But okay, that's not too bad. All in all, the Never's been quite good. There's been a lot more disgusting textures down here. Still don't know what I feel about the ghast. But it's not been too crazy. It's not been too crazy at all. Let's head back to the main world. Find a stronghold. Head to the end. See what the Ender Dragon looks like. I think the guy behind me agrees. Well, there's not too much to show you from the world generation here, as there doesn't seem to be much spawning around. But if I've done this correctly, somewhere down here should be the stronghold. Yep, there it is. Straight away, it's quite near the surface, in fact. At least the first staircase. But yeah, you could find this by accident. Have a little look around here. I do like the stones. The stone bricks are very, very nice. Can never find a portal frame straight away though. I just go towards light. I need to learn the speed run and strat to make this a little bit easier. This is very, very nice though. The way the mossy cobblestone or the mossy stone looks, the cracked stone, it all kind of 
connects. Does it connect well? There was a little bit of a weird twinge there. All in all, it sort of connects well. I think it does connect well. I think, yeah, 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 yeah. It's just the outline of the block that I'm looking at puts a, like, a one black pixel going around. But if you're looking at any of the other blocks that I'm not hovering over, it looks very, very nice. Where are these frames? Okay, so we've got the portal frames here. I actually wasn't expecting it. I thought we were going into another corridor. But this is cool. It's a nice spawner block here as well. And then, I don't know, I'm getting Iron Golem vibes here from this. And I've just realized now as well that when we go into the end, we're going to see more Endermen. And those Endermen were creepy. Look at these bright blue eyes as well. Okay. Is this going to be like the Ender Dragon eyes? I don't know. Oh, wow. That is a blight. Well, but that is a bright blue void there as well. This is all I'm interested here. Now, no spoilers for what we're going to see. Endstone doesn't look too crazy. Oh, look at that. It's the jacket he's wearing. He's very much a plague. He looks like... Oh, Hypno. The Pokemon Hypno. He looks like Hypno. The one, the psychic one. That, oh, I don't know why. I don't know why that came into my head. But okay. Other than that, though, the end stone. All right. Quite dirty, but not bad. And then we've got the ender dragon. Massive wingspan. Is her wingspan normally that big? Oh, wow. Very streamlined. That is a Game of Thrones dragon. If ever I've seen one. The mouth, the eyes. They've put a lot of detail into this dragon. They haven't changed her colors too much. She's a bit battish in how she flies. Like kind of bat wings, massive wings. I like the horns though. That is very, very nice. That is a nice dragon, you know. That is actually a really nice dragon. I'm normally one for the color, but that just kind of the battish nation, the battish, can't speak, the battish nature followed in with the detail around the face that looked very very nice all right so we've got one section left let's go and find the ancient city and let's see what a realistic warden looks like in this texture pack okay so it's night time and we seem to be at the point where the plains or a birch forest meets a savanna that is a nice transition between colors from the kind of yellowy green to brighter green that is very nice and then just looking around at how the world generates as we've got a bit of a jungle over there into some of the browns this is nice colors look very very nice and you've got the mountains over there this is why i like to show you guys the tops here so you can just see how the world blends in i like this and if i've done this correctly as well somewhere down here in the deep deep dark should be a deep deep warden and with the night vision potion drank, we can have a look. So immediately I'm seeing green fire. Why is the fire green? Is fire normally green? Fire is normally red, right? Like, or is fire on scope normally green? I did not notice that. We've got green fire. We've got a kind of, a kind of animated shiny blue scope. I do like the way just the skulk vein on a normal block looks. Oh, that is nice. All in all, I'm very positive about this pack, you know. Flowing water. It's it's a little bit glitchy, but it does look kind of nice. That's not too bad. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this pack, to be honest with you. I can see why this is such a good rating from so many reviews. Let's make some noise to get the warden in here. Okay, if I've calculated this correctly, the warden should spawn now. Here we go. Okay, that's a bit disappointing. There doesn't seem to be any change to... Oh, I mean, apart from the teeth. It's been a while since I've seen a base warden. This is a bit disappointing, though. I was expecting a little bit more. Especially after seeing all the detail that was in the dragon. That is a shame. Doesn't undo much of the good work that's been done. But that is a bit of a disappointing note to end on. And now the elephant in the room, obviously the texture pack that I released on Tuesday, I didn't think it was very good. I gave it a two out of 10. I thought that was me being nice. 
I'm recording this before you guys see that video, so I don't actually know what the opinions have been. But the way life works out, again, I didn't really expect to, to do another Square Dreams texture pack. I had Realistic Textures HD suggested to me, so it was just next in my list of Throwback Thursdays. I feel like this is a very good Square Dreams texture pack, though. This is a good realism texture pack. This is a good realistic texture pack. I was immersed. The, um, the creeper creeped me out. The spider scared me and the enderman made me feel dodgy. So I was immersed. I like the 3D models. They're very, very good. The description, very, very good for this texture pack. It's just that warden at the end that lets it down. For me, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It would be a high 8. I'm not going to give it a 9. The warden kind of let it down. And then little bits of details kind of could be improved upon but i think this is a very good texture pack and square dreams if you was mad at me for the tuesday texture pack that i put out for classic shaders hopefully you're not so mad about it now now that i've done realistic textures this is a very good texture pack classic shaders not so much but anyways i'm not going to go into that i promise you this wasn't planned i promise you i'm not being nice to make up for this this is my honest opinion i wouldn't give up my own integrity i do like this texture pack and yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Do you guys like this texture pack? Have you used this texture pack in the last two years that it's been out? Please drop a like if you've enjoyed this review. And if you're new to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button. I asked for us to get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. At time of recording, we're already on 1,907. Oh, I might be setting a 2,500 subscriber target if you guys carry on. Thank you for the support. Have a good one. I'll see you Saturday on stream, 4 p.m. UK time, or I'll see you Sunday in the next one. Peace!